this is the finale of season one of Shameless. Let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Oh, Frank. No, no. Not just that she posted it all online to this. People will see this and it can spread. Oh wait, this is the callback to Lip, right? When he was, he said, "This is what you missed this week." Tony, did you see them? They're still in back. When can I see them? If Lip's not charged as an adult, you can see them both in court tomorrow. Charged as an adult? He's seventeen. They may charge him with. I was gonna say he's seventeen. There's no way that Lip would steal a car. He's too smart, and Ian doesn't even drive. If they didn't steal it, they didn't steal it. If they didn't, then they have to tell the detectives who gave him the car. Who, yeah. Who to testify? Who are they gonna snitch on? <laughs> if they don't give up a name, Lip could do five years. And Ian, another Frank progeny? Right, so. Technically, no. You always let your brother speak for you. He's mute. I can talk. So what? You two geniuses stole a Porsche Cayenne. Technically, they didn't steal it. So did you go on a little late night White Castle run? Did they get it from you? Did they? Where the fuck are you? Yeah, because these are. This is her brother. Sorry, I'm just invested in this little move. But it. Yes, there he is. Yeah, I was out looking for that 911 that you wanted. I wanted the Cayenne. Beeler needs it in the container before the ship leaves to Dubai. Good luck. Yeah, good luck getting it. He's about to find out what's going on. Uh oh. Okay, so, yeah, I was hoping a police officer wasn't around. This is one of these great moments where you see just how much Fiona truly does care. And I like seeing that. We know that they're, they're close, but it just shows you just what she goes through. She's right. My husband's public defender never even met Clyde before the arraignment, then suggested he plead guilty to child molestation and sexual abuse. That's because he did that. What about Dickie Day? He helped Marty out with that arson thing. Marty got six years. Well, Tony says the judge might just release Ian to me. I mean, he doesn't have priors. Truancy, shoplifting, drinking, and that fight where he fractured Cam Matlock's cheekbone. But no felonies, though. Stolen Porsche, you said? Yeah. Still no Steve? Turn. Take 1236, man. Jackson back 1217 into a hydrogen on hell stand last He's night. talking to you. Uh, uh, it, 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 Gallagher. It, it's it's Philip and Ian. Oh, is Jimmy here? No. He's back in school in Michigan. No, he's no. not. No. He's living 96 blocks away on the south side, dating my sister, stealing cars, and going by the name of Steve. Uh-huh. <laughs> You need me to teach you how to drive, or the toilet needs plunging. You know, normal things between a man and his girlfriend's daughter. But you and me, a man has to be able to look his son in the eye. But he should also be. A man has to have the courage to fight the things in his nature that you, you understand his, his passions, his needs, and desires. Frank, just. Well, okay, there, I've said it. You go back to Lip, I'll go back to your mother. Yes? Okay? Good. Good. Here. Here. She didn't say anything. Maybe ask her how she actually is, find out like, what is going on. You relate to her? Was he the one that Funny. also appears in It's Always Sunny? It's bright as hell doing great at school. Ian's in ROTC, wants to join the Marines. They wouldn't have been in that car if they knew it was still on. So, and you uh, thought it was Steve. From the is that it? The thing is, though, she's now gonna. Uh, so Tony's gonna think that because of what he did, you know, she's gonna accept him. Hey, Karen, it's me. Uh, call me back when you get this message, right? See anybody get shanked? 
We were cuffed to a bench in a hallway most of the night, Carl. Yeah, I was thinking they wouldn't have seen that yet. Clean towels. You both need showers. You're rank. I'll go first. They take uh, your belts and shoelaces so you wouldn't hang yourselves? Carl, go help Veronica with dinner. I helped with breakfast. You pulled out a cereal well, bowl. Go do something else. I feel like Ian's the one you can crap. Hey, Fiona. I'm gay. Okay, what a, what a time to tell her. I know. You're still on my shit list. Oh. She's a good sister. Season tickets. Just for the year? Just to get yeah, playoffs too? Big gun right there. Jesus. This Fiona better be the best pussy you ever had. She's the only pussy I ever had. Check out this idiot. No, it's Steve. <laughs> I'm gone tonight. He never said he wouldn't take Fiona with him. Hey, uh, V. Those are great boots. Macy's? Famous footwear. Oh, wow, I gotta check uh -huh, that place I don't trust out. Vehicle. Pour yourself some bubbly, V. We are celebrating the boys' big breakout. Okay. Debbie. It's okay. To really? Chicago Jurisprudence and Adolescent Misadventure. Yeah. Cheers! Where are you going? Karen's. Dinner's almost ready. Not hungry. Hello? Hi. Hi. Yeah, hi. She's, she's so Robert? perky. Yeah, one of them. He's cute. You doing all right? No, she's really not. I mean, just look around. Yeah, go and see to him. It's clearly this Jasmine. If that's her name. It's just bored in her life. It's just so preppy. You two got along? <laughs> he really liked her though. I think I was kind of falling in love with her. She was a constant in his life this whole season. Oh, did she send it? This character? <sighs> she did send it. Oh no, does he think it's porn? You know, she was so disappointed when Eddie didn't give her his. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not I've about got the some car. money saved. I could do it. How much money? I think like about 12000 I think. You think? I know a guy sells cars. Why don't you give me the money and I'll, I'll find her something nice. Would you do that? No, no, don't give Frank any money. That would be wonderful. Here we go. Eddie, you, you know you're not welcome here. I you're saw not coming it, in. I saw what you did. Eddie, stop. Yeah, we better run, Frank. see you Frank tell him he's a dead man I don't care how long it takes I don't care how much he begs he's fucking dead yeah I, yeah, I can't see this man stop enough like he had anyway maybe Frank survives I know he's in the show you fucked the wrong guy's daughter Gallagher now they all know Costa Rica then maybe Rio has you ever been to Rio You've been outside of Chicago. But then that she'd just be in abandoning them like with both their parents did. It's not forever. We'll come back. Three months, six months, maybe a year. You can call them every single day. Come with me, Fiona. So he sleeps in his call? He has nowhere else to be? Yeah, no one can look at him.
Oh wow, he's showing it to everyone. What? Be a pal lip. When you and Frank get done passing around uh, Daddy's girl, why don't you uh, send her on over to our place? I mean, someone's gotta pop this little pussy's cherry. We'll just make sure to double bag his itsy bitsy Johnson first. You run them up way too much. Now he knows. That the kids won't miss you? That by day three or four, Carl will be saying Fiona who when you call? Afraid if you ever do something even remotely selfish, For yourself. Earth's gravitational pull will end and we'll all go flying into space? No, shit. Maybe that she doesn't want to come back. I think I might be in love with him. I know. Oh, yeah. Scary, isn't it? The, this is the dad will live. It is live. Jesus, what you good fucker? Fucker! You know, when it's all said and done, you're the only one who's nice to me. Oh, honey. You're really nice to me. Since I've seen it back. Oh, no, it is him then. It's been a long time. I mean, wow, this took a really dark turn. Us in a bustle of blood. Why were they staring at him? Maybe because he's beaten up. What to do? <sighs> but we can't hold it against her. She's young and carefree. I mean, we're both victims here, you and me. And then he does this. Good aim. Uh, that's not her. Also, she's clearly shorter than Fiona. She didn't get us. So let's be where she'll, she will be working, okay. I don't like this lady, really. A lot of tension. <laughs> a lot of th uh, frayed relationships, you know, things people have done that it's going to be hard for others to forgive. Though we saw little journeys of where forgiveness seems to start being accepted. Eddie, uh, that was really dark. And considering we don't know if he will ever be found. Or when he does. Um, so that was the end of his character. I didn't expect that. Um, I really do hope Karen can get the help she needs and talk to someone, have people talk to her. Maybe with her and Lip with everything, I don't know, maybe they're still together in season two and they're stronger. Frank. I don't know what to say about Frank sometimes. But yeah, the whole thing of Fiona taking a selfish, being selfish, she she puts them all above her. And so her not leaving wasn't too shocking. I don't know what that means for Steve uh, if he comes back. I would hope so. As you knew, because if he comes back, even in next season, or uh, to create tension, especially with Tony. I don't know what's going on with that Jasmine woman. There was just so much going on uh, in this, and it felt like a season finale. Just in case it didn't get picked up, it felt like that. So they, they did a really good job in implanting you know, resolutions to a lot of issues or creating certain avenues where there could be something else happening. 
Uh, I really, really enjoyed season one. Strong season, a lot went on, a lot of chaos. And I can only imagine how far they're going to go because this is just season one and they have a lot they can do, especially as the kids get older. And I'm looking forward to what they bring to the table. Thank you for watching.